Jeez. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. All right. Uh, I've already got a piece, don't I? Oh. We don't do that here. Like, is there an inventory button? Can you see? Can you see what I have? Pretty sure I also have. Uh. Lockpicks. Let's have some breakfast. And, um. Get dressed. And, uh, I guess, just to be sure, we'll... Fuck. We'll head by Giuseppe's, just to be sure, and see if... if we don't need any more lockpicks. Just making all that ruckus. Hey, there he is. Ecco qua. The best tools in the city. Okay. Already got lockpicks. Magnum? Mmm. Molotovs. Anything else I can do for you? Sure, why not? Here you go. We got all this money. That should work for you. Might as well spend it. That should work for you. That should work for you. That should work for you. I'm sure you'll find a good use for this. Anything else I can do for you? There we go. Perfect. Locked and loaded. Okay. Take care of yourself. You're my best customer. Yeah. I don't doubt that. Alright. Here we are. Back again at Freddy's. Where another job is waiting for us. I wonder what this one is going to involve. Hello. Hello. Laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. But when Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I <laughs> heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we Only talked about months? yesterday? We'll see you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my... Money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Mm. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, bulb. don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Okay, then. Remember the last time we did this? Remember what ended up happening to me? That's why I'm being so careful. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, he's a piece of work, ain't he? 
give you a job? Yeah, something like that. I work some guys over. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. All right. Keep that in mind. All right. Is this it? Is this the uh, shopping mall? So we just go in and rob the place? Just like that? Alright, here we go. What the? What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it. Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard. What the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my get the ass. fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you Shit. waiting for? Get him, lads! No. Screw him! Ah, let's get out of here! I'm trying! Shit, cops! Now what? Hey, Vito, I got it open! Come on! Yeah, yeah, I'm right behind you. Watch my ass when I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back! Almost got it. Pull him off just a little longer. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. All right, let's go. Freeze, police. There's no way out. Come on, hurry up, Joe. You good? Come on, let's go. Shit, another dead end. Oh. We gotta go this way. It's our only shot. All right. Get a move on then. You don't move your ass. My bad, you crazy. It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We had no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Get lost, coppers. Uh. Now what? Hey, a new gun. Nito.
Hmm. Oh. What the hell were you guys doing waiting out? Gotta get the fuck out oh. of here. Oh. Waiting for. Fucking Get kidding me. Brian, what about the cops? Screw Come them, on, cops. Let's get, get out of here. I'm trying. trying. What a joke. What is this shit? You shit, cops. Watch my ears when they open this door. Keep those assholes off my back. Almost got it. Pull him off just a little longer. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Freeze! Police! Back. We There's gotta no find way another out. way out. Mm hmm. Okay. Hello? We gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Oh! So I guess if you go far away, far enough from them, they just forget about you. I guess. Okay, here we go. Come on, Vito, move your ass! What are you Freeze. fucking crazy? Police. It's covered in ice. There's One no slip and we're dead. We got no choice. I ain't going to the joint. There we go. That was the missing piece there. Fantastic. Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit! Jesus, be careful. Almost lost it. Yeah. I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. Okay, now what? Take us to the street. Yeah, let's hope so. Shit, cops! Ah, uh, great. Freeze, police! There's no way out. Look out. Almost got it. Pull him off just a little longer. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. 
I'm going, I'm going. Hey, fuck nuts, what's the hold up? Henry's never gonna believe this. Right here, retard. Stupid bastards. Just keep go. going. Come on, lug nut. Fuck off, copper. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> 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 oh, look at the Irish man. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't Shit. worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Right. Yeah, I'll do my best. Oh, shit. Dead end? Seriously? What? Who saw that? Seriously, who saw that? Are these psychic cops? Yeah, I get, I get that I'm wanted by, by the police. I get that part, and I get that I have to change my clothes. But how can they see my clothes inside a car? Stupid. All right. Whew. Safely made it back to Joe's. I got a little dicey there. Told you that job sounded too easy. Almost got caught again. Whew. Oops. <sighs> what a day. All right. Off to bed. Well. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Hello. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. All right. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. See ya. Huh. That was something. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm sick of ham sandwiches and cola for breakfast. I'm gonna go and give me some real breakfast from a real restaurant. Why not? I can afford it. Fuck you! Stupid broad! Whoa! Get the hell back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong. Hey, yo! Joe's girl over there. Well, one of them anyway. Hey, what's the big idea? Car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, now. Hey, pal. Knock it off. No need for that. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What is she, your girlfriend or something? 
Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Now you're gonna... Oh. Now you're gonna get it. Stay down. Stay down, I said. Stay down. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. See it. All right, Stella's diner. Don't mind if I do. Hey there. Come in, young man. Come, come. The fuck is that? Uh, what you are having today? Swift cola, hot dog, ham and cheese. Uh, not exactly fine dining, is it? All right, I'll try one of them gyros, gyros. Here you go. Whatever it's called. And a nice hot cup of joe. <laughs> Yummers. All right, thanks a lot, pal. See you around. All right, back again at Freddy's bar. Let's go and see what Joe has in for us this time around. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey, Vito. This is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. Hello. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. All right. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> yeah. And I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. Salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh, I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill people the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. No. Yeah. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me. The benefits far outweigh the cost. Mm. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah. It's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? 
I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. Mm, that's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. We can mm. get anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment all right. 233. 233. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. I'm out. See you later. Good luck, pal. Yep. All right, well... Should be exciting. Yes, so long, buddy. Of course, that is unless it doesn't go all wrong like every other job did before. All right. Is this it? Army, Navy, military surplus. Huh. Interesting. He's got a sign and a. Arrow pointing to his place. Not so secretive, is he? Who's there? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. All right. Huh. It's quite the payload. Hello. So, uh. You're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no Africa? Oh, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic. A little you. bit, a little bit. So they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Um, uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. All right. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. All right. <clears throat> well, that's very thoughtful of you, Harry. Hey, be careful out there. Yep. See you around, pal. Uh, that's not my car. Uh, 
I guess this normal car has no room for a big old crate like this. Fair enough. It's me, Vito. Okay, come in. So, out of interest, uh, what do you have to offer? So, what do you need, Vito? Magnum, I already got that. Shotgun. Oh, that's it. Magnum and a shotgun. All right. I never leave home without it. Like my mom always said, you there can we never go. have too much ammo. Fill her up. What's this? You got a secret little magazine here for me? I almost called you Vito. Vito, I'll see you soon. Yep. Oh. All right, here we go. Time to take this van to the meeting place. All right, this must be the meeting place. from him. Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, we buy you a ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. What? What do you mean? What tipped them off, I wonder? Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All right, guns. showtime. They got guns up there in that window. There he is. Him, Vito. Waste that platform. Did I get him? We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going deaf over here. Shit. I nicked him, though. He's hit. He's hit for two. Vito, you're the fucking whip. We're coming for you, Porky. Come on. Back me up, Vito. It's fucking over. You shoot my. Oh, fuck. Watch out. Wow, direct hit. Hey, Vito, waste that fat fuck. I hit the fucking cocksucker. We got them all. This is bullshit. This game's rigged. Out of the way. <laughs> come on. I get that hip fire is less accurate, but come on, it was point blank.
fuck off. Make him believe that, like I can actually do it. There's no fucking way. He takes the hits and he still goes inside. So why give me hope? Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky. I'm going in. Oh, that's the best you got. Hold on, I'm regenerating my health. Say that again. Okay, hit the button, Vito. <sighs> Come on, we're taking the elevator. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. I'm all right. job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Is that it? Come on, Porky's upstairs. Thanks for the heads up. Wow. Okay, I see we're taking design inspirations from GTA 4. I mean, to be fair, it's not as worse as that. But it is, pretty much. Just remove the phone call. Giving me conflicting messages here. 
The game is clearly tailored for cover combat. Is that the fucking best you got? And we got fucking Rambo's fat little brother telling me to push on. I don't have invulnerability like you do. Idiot. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking ward. We're coming for you, fucking. Going in. I bet, huh? It's fucking over. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, fuck. Watch out. What the fuck is that? Way to go, Vito. God damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of time. Back me up, Vito. Oh no! It's no! Fucking over! Oh god! Oh god, no! Go, go, go! What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? They got commies. We'll take care of them. Shit, there's an army of them. Vito, Joe, do something. We can't just fucking sit here. What the fuck do you expect me to do? They shoot at me for Christ's sakes. Vito, do something. You're the expert here. Molotov sucks. It's like it just adds effects, flame effects. Come on, Porky's upstairs. It's like a distraction. Rather than something actually of importance, something of value. Okay, this this fucking cheap cheap trick of not revealing the enemy until you are face to face with them. It's bullshit. But hey, at least we got something to even even out the odds here. Yeah, you and what army? And we were at the end. Fuck off. Don't kill me. Please. I got a wife. You go should have thought about your I, wife I, before. I you don't so kill me. Oh, for Christ's sake. Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh. Fuck. The fuck? Oh. oh fuck you. Sorry, you. <clears throat> Henry, you okay? Hey. Where'd he hit you? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. God. Oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of a. <sighs> get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor. Okay, okay, you take idiot. it easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in High Brook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Come on, You're heavier than you look. <sighs> all right. Oh, fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. You missed him by a mile. You're gonna be fine. Probably. Hopefully. 
Hey, careful! No. Please, hurts. I don't want to die. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't. Whoa! Oh, no need to get too sick. Fuck. Now what? This whole fucking place is coming apart. Still, still breathing, aren't you? There we go. See, we're all fine. Cops. If I don't make it. Hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches, then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah? And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. In pursuit of our suspect, we're taking him down. No, you're not. This is not the vehicle you're looking for. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. What's that supposed to mean? See you later. Faster. I'm really trying yeah, here. Damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, <coughs> damn it. Stop shooting. I mean, stop ramming us. Don't shoot. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. A Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco oh, yeah. a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Just seem to be able to, you know, recover pretty quickly. Hey Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Shit. God damn it! Why did he have to stop? Yeah, thanks for the heads up. How much further to this fucking doctor? By the time you get to him, you're bleeding out. And, of course, there's a cop right at the fucking gate entrance. Are you kidding me? They're not even trying to hide it now. Vito there. That house. Park right in front. Yeah, alright. There we go. 
<laughs> ring, ring. You all Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. I oh. could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. <clears throat> All right. All right. Hey. We have enough cash to repay our father's debt. Look at that. So now we sh should be able to, uh, that's it. We don't have to do any more of these criminal activities. We can quit while we're ahead, right? Mm, not, so, not so sure about that. All right. We're back to Little Italy and our... Well, it's not our. I mean, technically, it's still ours. But um, back to Mars and little Frankies here to deliver them with some good news for once. Vito, hey, how you doing? No, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. All right. See you later. All right, and here we are. Back home, I guess. I guess this is our home now. Well, co-home? I don't know. I mean, at this point, it's more of a home to us than it is to Joe. Because he's a... He doesn't seem to be around much. But, maybe it's one of those situations where he comes in when I'm asleep and goes back outside when I'm awake. Well, either way, after all that, having me a nice cold beer, I'm going to sleep.